Hey everybody, I'm Elena and today I'm gonna bring to you my 2017 favorites. I know it's gonna sound pretty redundant, but where did this year go? I don't know. So without further ado, because I have one of each category except for concealers that I have two of them and mascaras and lipsticks. Uh, yeah, I tried to grab just one product. If I just have if I just had to grab one product that would define what I used throughout, all throughout 2017, from each category, these would be my top ones, uh, the ones that the workhorse, the ones that really were tried and true and tested and loved and you know that I traveled a lot and I took them with me, this is how much I trusted them because of course you don't pack everything that's in here, you just pack all uh, makeup bags, so yeah. First things first, foundation. My go-to foundation for me and my clients actually, I've used this a lot and trusted this a lot, even in the summertime uh, when it's humid and hot outside, has been the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Here the packaging is different, but the formulation is the, formulation is the same. Uh, this is 115, the color that I'm currently wearing now, but I have several colors because I wore this. I've been wearing this all throughout summer. Now that it's winter, I've applied this on clients, so I have several uh, shades of it. I like that it's, as it says, matte and poreless, but it's not matte, like it's a fake matte or something like that. It's something that it's mattifying, but it's not looking fake, if you know what I'm trying to say. I don't know so much though about the poreless part of the definition, but it gives a beautiful finish, a beautiful uh, natural finish that makes your skin look even. It's medium coverage, so it's not something that it's really cakey and it's not as sheer that and everybody's gonna be able to tell every single flaw that you have in, on your face. No, this is gonna even out your skin tone, cover a little bit, but not cover everything, so still you can see your freckles. Uh, through it and you can build it up I can I so I just use one layer usually but sometimes I use a couple layers in this and it works just as good it works well with a sponge a brush you name it Maybelline and it's really cheap you guys this is you know when I find a cheap alternative I always go to that you know because I'm gonna love it I'm gonna repurchase it and if I can save some money the more the better right so Next up, concealer wise, I have two winners because uh, I didn't want just to give you the high end alternative. So, as you probably can see, I have been like, I, this is like, this has got three uses left or whatever. Naked Skin from Urban Decay. It's lightweight, yet still, it's it has a decent coverage in it. It looks natural on the skin, it's not drying, it's not cakey, and um, yeah, it performs pr pretty well. You can build it up a little bit, like you can add a couple layers if need be. And I've been loving this a lot, and I am almost out of this. This is how much I've been loving this. I'm not out of this, but I sure will repurchase this, and this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Classic Ivory. I've been using this because it's peachy color when I've had terrible dark under eye circles, right? And uh, this concealed everything, worked beautifully, and what more can I say? It's hard, I don't know if you can find it at the drugstore. I buy it, I buy it online. I suppose, I can only suppose you can buy it online just as well. And yeah, that's about it. The LA Girl, it's a really good concealer. Maybe I like a bit more the Naked Skin, but, but come on, if you come to check the price, this is a fraction of the price of this, so if you are on a budget, I would say go with this, you, you will not get it wrong. As for primer, there's one and only, this is my one and only, this is a Milani eyeshadow primer in the color Nude. I don't need to say anything else, I don't reach for anything else. I just had the shadow insurance from Too Faced, but other than that, I used it up. I like it, but I like this better because the price is a fraction of the price and it works just as well. So don't spend your money if you don't need to. This is my opinion, of course, you can do whatever you want to, but 
go grab some Milani and you're good to go. To set all this, need I say more? NYX HD Finishing Powder in the color Banana has been my go-to that I already have repurchased this to set my under eye area, the under eye concealer, because again, a little bit of uh, color concealer for your under, uh, colored finishing powder for the under eye, just helps it even out a bit more. You know, this yellowish one works well for my skin complexion. If not, you should be using something more of a pinkish tone, but then it brightens, not just mattifies, but it also brightens the uh, under eye area. And I've been using this with brushes, sponges, you name it. I love it, I love the price, repurchase. As for the brows, I loved, I used to love the L'Oreal Pencil Brow Artist. Not that I stopped loving that, but I found this gem at NYX. It's not drugstore, but it's almost drugstore prices, right? This is the Tame and Frame, and this is a brow pomade. Again, you can see this is the color brunette, that is the one that I'm currently wearing. This is very honest last legs as well. Already, re already repurchased as well. And this not only gives, adds color to your lashes, but has this uh, pomade texture, of course, that you can comb through with a spoolie and you have your brows in place and you don't have to go over with some clear gel or something in the lines. So it's a winner. When it comes to eyeliners, I have to say that for my waterline, like, let's not even, let's not talk about this. This is my go-to, my go-to, to, for my clients and this is Silken Oud from Essence. This is a, a stream, extreme, sorry, lasting, easy glide and waterproof uh, liner, pencil liner. You have to sharpen this. This is not super convenient because you have to sharpen this, but this is really affordable. And yeah, it lasts for so long. It's cheaper than the Rimmel one, still lasts, lasts longer and yeah, I don't know, I like it better than the Sephora one that I had and I'm not gonna go ahead and grab some 24-7 Easy Glide from Urban Decay when I can get this at the drugstore and I love it. This is my second one already and yeah, I use it with my clients as well and I cannot recommend this enough. So this is it, Silky Nude from Essence. I highly recommend that you check this. If I'm going with black, I want something that's gonna stay there all day long and that I don't have to be worrying about either it's faded or something happened with it. So this is my no-brainer. This is the Larger Than Life from NARS. Uh, this is a retractable pencil liner. Again, this is a gel liner. This is pitch black and it will last to you like through thick and thin. I tried the Essence one, for instance. It lasts decently, but this is a winner, like I would splurge in this, and I obviously have, so there's that. When it comes to liquid liner and whatnot, this is a brush tip liner, this is a um, eye, booster, eye booster from Physicians Formula, this would be a pretty equivalent, this would be almost a dupe from Kat Von D Trooper, uh, the tattoo liner, right? And this is almost half the price from the Kat Von D, uh, tattoo liner and this just performs just as well, lasts just as long and yeah, Physicians Formula, they nailed it. I can only wait to, I've been using this all year long, loving this, I'm wearing it today. I will get the brown one for sometimes if I want to be wearing something more toned down, but come on, let's be honest, nine times out of ten, if I'm wearing liner, it's gonna be black because I don't know, I like how, how it looks, how it how it looks in my eyes and uh, whatnot. Next up, let's talk about mascara. I have two winners in the first place. I cannot decide between these two. And this would be the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara, Lash Paradise Mascara. This has been, this has been compared to the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. This is a really solid mascara. It really gives volume, va va boom to your lashes, you name it, this is I cannot recommend this enough. The only thing, the only but is that you ran out of this really quickly because it's almost half the amount that this one, this tube one has, for instance. And this one would be the Max Factor Masterpiece Transform, that this would be the equivalent from CoverGirl 
Splash Blast, I believe it's called. No, CoverGirl Super Sizer in the US. In Europe, it's a Max Factor Masterpiece Transform. This is a fresh tube. I still have yet to open this. I repurchased this. This is how much I love this. This maybe may not be as volumizing and as this one, but it sure is really lengthening, defining, loved it, repurchased this. 12 mils, twice the amount, same price than the L'Oreal. I love some high-end mascaras, but with this, I'm sad I don't need to spend that much money, right? Now, let's go with the eyeshadow, and I've been traveling a lot, I already mentioned that, and my uh, eyeshadow palette that I've been using time and again, not only when I've been traveling, but today I'm wearing it, and you know, pretty much, it's like it has all what I could like, if you need a palette and you don't have one palette and if you want some colors but not something crazy, I would highly recommend that you grab the original chocolate bar from Too Faced. This is pretty pretty beat up right now, like you can see it's starting to be worn down. Many colors. This is how much I love this. I love that you can create a more romantic looks, neutral looks, you name it, going to warm, cooler tones then going into more cherry tones you can create pretty much except the smoky uh you know black smoky eye you can create pretty much everything that would complement you know you can go more for a party for everyday use you name it so with this you are set i love this uh the other palettes that they did after that i think they are sequels but they are not as good, not formulation wise, but the range of colors that they provide you as good as the original one, which is this one, and still is my go to to this day. And I think I will repurchase this once I run out of this because this is my no brainer. I grab this, put it in my makeup bag, pack my pack on my suitcase, leave, and I'm good. Next, let's go to contour blushes and all these kinds of powders. So as for contour, I know it's not a bronzer per se, but I've been grabbing all the time because it's really convenient and I like how it looks on my face. Benefit Dallas. I have to tell you that this is a bronzer blush from Benefit. And at the beginning, I didn't think very much of it, to be honest with you guys. Up until one day, I tried it, you know, at the Benefit counter, and then I realized that this was a multitasker. So I take it with me, I contour my face with this, I bronze, I do whatever, it's easy to grab, plus, you know, it has the brush that it's really been beat up and used and well loved, but that's reality of life, right? This is how much I've been loving this, so I highly recommend this, because you could use it, you could double this at blush, or if you don't want to be contouring, but if you want to be contouring, this is still gonna look good on you, and you don't have to be carrying extra things, you know, carrying the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, I love it as well, but this is really convenient, just my opinion. As for blush, again, this is really convenient for me because it's the box that it's not gonna be, get broken on planes or anything. Has the brush inside, again, this is really convenient, so I have to put packed less and this is a really subtle beautiful color this is benefit herbana as you can see it has a little bit of peach a little bit of plum a little bit of rosy and a little bit of powdery baby powder color in here baby rose and this is a color that you can really swirl together and it's gonna look really beautiful it's toned down it's not something that screams blush in your face you know so it's gonna look good with warm looks cool looks uh, it's not gonna be the most dramatic blush but you you know it's gonna be really versatile so i'm looking for some products like that again something that's been really versatile and again it's from benefit so i'm sorry for that but yeah it is what it is it's been the benefit high beam this is a cool tone highlighter that i am also wearing today so and i'm also wearing um dallas and hervana as the blush if you want to look for reference, same thing with the Too Faced chocolate bar palette, and yeah, Benefit High Beam. This is really convenient. It's subtle. It's gorgeous. It's not something that's gonna scream. I'm wearing highlighter, 
at your face, you know, but you're gonna be able to travel with it, you apply it, then blend it with your fingers, it's really convenient, and with, it's really expensive, you know, it's, I, I would say it's, it's in the 30 euro mark, but if you run out of this, they might give you a price or something, because that's like the, that's like a myth, this is everlasting, so there's about that. To set it all in place, I will have to say that my go-to, even though it's a loose powder, so it's not as travel friendly, but you know, it's been the thing that it's has been traveling with me regardless because I love it this much. It has been the Makeup Forever HD powder. This is so finely milled. You guys, I wouldn't recommend this uh, to set the under eye concealer because for some reason, at least to me and my clients, it would change the color of the concealer so it would look really flawless on the under eye area, but it would darken the concealer so I didn't like that look one single bit so I would go with the HD from NYX and then go dust this you know I'm just gonna open this for you hope I don't make mess I just used it earlier today dusted this all over the face for a little bit create the most beautiful flawless look you can imagine like this is unbeatable this is uh, almost like you cannot see but something has changed for good on your face. I know it's been there for a long time. It's not been talked too much on the YouTube community. I don't understand why. Maybe some other products are more the hype right now, but this is still there and this is really, really, really good. And last but not least, let's go for the lips. And on the lip section, I would just uh, highlight this uh, lip liner. This is the color number one from Primark. This is one euro and 50 cents and this has been the color that I've been wearing non-stop alone like I repurchased this this is the third time I repurchased this and as you can see it has lost all the letters and everything this is how much I use it and I travel with it and whatnot and this is the perfect liner to match with my favorite lipstick of the year this would be MAC Velvet Teddy this is a warm nude you can see how much I loved this like this is so well loved. I discovered this through Brittany Lee Saunders. I've seen, I had seen it on Mac numerous times, but I never gave it too much thought to it up until one day I heard her say, like I was thinking she's wearing the most beautiful uh, warm um, nude lips. And she mentioned that it was Velvet Teddy. I went and tried it because every skin tone is different. It looked gorgeous on me and I've been wearing this spring, fall, winter, summer, you name it. Pair this with the primer because I didn't want to be sp spending on Whirl from MAC or anything like that. So yeah, MAC is still there and Velvet Teddy, you guys, 18 euros, well spent. And last but not least, if I am branching out of the nudes, something that I have been loving, like I cannot emphasize that enough. I'm just not wearing that today because I emphasize my eyes so I don't want to look like a hot mess, but this would be the NYX liquid suede in the color Cherry Skies. This is a more, this is a darker red, it's not a true red, so in my, in my, in my opinion, this is a more wearable red. Uh, in the summertime, I would pull this off at night, you know, it's not so such a bright, a vibrant red. And the rest of the year, I think it's more wearable than a true, true red, that you have to be really careful as to what kind of clothing you're wearing. This will pair good with neutral colors, black, you name it, all sorts of makeup. Again, if you don't wear just mascara and you pop this on your lips, you could you look put up together. This is truly long lasting. It's a really comfortable formulation. Maybe it's not as long lasting as a Maybelline one, but it lasts for a long, long time. Again, it's matte, it's comfortable and it's affordable. So Cherry Skies from NYX has been my go-to. And that's about it. These are the products that I've been reaching the most throughout 2017 and I've been loving and I swear by them. I know that some of them have been there, you know, at the stores for quite some time. There are not new releases, but still there are something that, you know, I have trusted to pack, you know, on my suitcase and travel with them abroad. And just using this, carrying this, I know 
I knew I would be covered, so this is how much I love them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a good beginning of 2018. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a good thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already and leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. And if you have some suggestion as to products that I should use and whatnot, just let me know down below. In the meantime, have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.